so I'll know. It tells you when there's when there's only like ten turns left and five turns left. Get me some water, cause this thing is just screwing me up. Oh, it's my turn. All right. I don't even remember where the star is at, and Mario's coming back to us because that blue space makes him go back to the beginning. No, it makes him go back to the bottom area. Did I just give him a shortcut to the star? Where is a star? Is it on that bottom left island? I mean, southwest? Yes, it is on that island. Damn it. Hopefully it comes to where we're at. Tile driver. Let's see. You just ground pound the tiles to make it look like the picture in the middle. So, what's it gonna be this time? It can either be Koopa, Boo, or Goomba. Goomba it is. Alright. So the middle one's already correct, so I'll just come up here. Alright. So I have to ground pound twice for Koopas. Maybe I should've started with Boo then. Oh, so you jump with the A button, and since I'm using the virtual controller, like the, the Wii Classic Controller Pro, you jump with A and you ground pound with L. Unlike future Mario parties where it's like you gr you jump with A and then you ground pound by pushing A in the air. Wow, Mario's like really, really keeping up with me. These computers, man, I swear. But I'm not putting them on hard like I said earlier. Screw that. Nope. You're not talking me into that. That, um... That's the word I'm looking for. What? Luigi makes a pass there too. Jeez. Oh man, I'm never gonna... Well, I do have a golden mushroom, so maybe I can get lucky. I'll wait until I get closer and then I'll pull out the golden mushroom. And she makes it over there too, because that makes her go over there for five coins. I'm the only one stuck on this island. This sucks. I don't have any stars. I have 76 coins. Oh man. I better hope for a miracle. That's another Bowser space, damn it. Don't make me lose my coins. I'm setting a new record here. Come on. Uh, all right, cool. Give me, what does that even mean, stars packed go? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, is that the star come back to where I'm at? Come on. Stars are put in set locations, so it's never gonna be like an. It's never completely random where it's gonna be at. Why well, it is completely random where the next set location is? Oh, all right, I need to use a golden mushroom. Hopefully, I make. Oh, all right, I'll use a golden mushroom on this turn and buy another one in the shop. Good thing I'm one space from the shop. This is looking good. Also, is that a mermaid on the bottom right? I've never noticed that statue. And I'll be completely honest. On this file of Mario Party 2, because I checked before I started playing. Apparently I've played this board and pretty much all the other boards at least 11 times. The Bowser Land one since I guess that was going to be my 11th time playing it but it's stuck on 10 since I didn't finish the game. Oh, Filet Relay. Filet Relay. You tap the A button to like waddle or whatever. Don't tap it too fast because then you'll fall over. I'm going to tap it fast. And slow down every once in a while because then you fall over. Move left and right. We have the bigger fish so we move slower than they do but honestly it's better to be on the team on your... It's better to be on your- No! Oh jeez! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, Yoshi. It's better to be on your own, because then you don't get screwed over as much. Oh, make it to the left! Alright. Let's breeze through this thing. Come on. Come on. Oh, I was gonna fall over. Oh, Alright. And now these 2D penguins that barely move except jump are gonna have a giant fish. I mean, it's better for me to win, right? I give them the big fish. They'd get a smaller fish and smaller rations because of that if the other three people won. I'm actually pretty close to getting back to first place. If I actually pull off the whole first, I mean the golden mushroom, and then get another golden mushroom, I'll be set. But I have to make it through the bridge two times, and that's the worst part. Also, Luigi gets to play a role. Alright, I like the mini games, the item mini games. I do like them, just that I. I mean, it's alright, I guess, that they're set to certain, like, boards. Like, you will never play this item minigame on a different board. It's always this board. I wish the roulette would happen. You can play it. Well, that's weird because that kind of counter, like, 
counteracts what I said about Mario Party 10's boss minigames, where, like, you get a random boss minigame each time you play each board instead of the one that set takes place on that board. And I don't like that. I'd rather play that boss minigame. But, I mean, it makes sense for this one, because on that one, you only play the boss battle games. Oh, and Thwomp's here. Thwomp, you can go past him and you give him coins, and each time you give him coins, you have to give him more than the last time. So if you give him two coins, next time you have to give him three coins at least. And I'm going to do my plan right now. You can, hold, you can only hold one item in this game. In future games, it was three items. What was I saying again? Oh yeah. I guess, I mean, it makes sense because in this one, you land on the item spaces frequently. And you're forced to play that one minigame over and over again. But on the other, like on, I'm buying the golden mushroom. On Mario Party 10, you only fight those bosses once each time you play the board. And, I mean, it sucks because... Hold up. How many... Six, one, two, three, four, five... Damn it! I was so close, too. My plan was this close from happening. What happens if I go down? One, two, three, four, five. Another item space. I don't know if I want to take that risk. Should I just go down? I don't want to have to start all over. I'll go down. Oh, man, this sucks. And I would have gotten a free item, too. I already bought one. I mean, you only... You only fight those bosses once each time you play, so it'd be better if those were set. And on this one, it's always different. It makes sense. No, not the top one, not the top one! Alright. We're gonna play Sneak and Snore eventually. I guarantee you that. I'm still debating whether or not I should do... Wait, hold up. Totem Pole Pound. You just ground pound. Jump as high as you can to make it go down like one whole face, because it's totem, so each one has a face. There's five faces. Easy minigame. Even if they're on hard, it's still an easy minigame. Anyways, I'm still debating whether I should do minigame coaster. I mean, it's fun to do it, it's just really frustrating. The first time I played it, I got so mad. I was glad when I beat it, because you unlock a minigame from that, which is great. I just hated playing it. It was awful. Like I said earlier, look away, man. <laughs> it sucks. Especially because you have to do it on hard. Also, why is the screen like this? Look, if you look to the left and right, you can see a black bar. I'm on the same space as you, so you won't teleport anywhere if you're all right, good. It sucks because, um, look away. No, wait, what was I saying? You have to play it on hard to unlock that one minigame of, what's that minigame called? Rainbow something. I'm not sure, but it sucks because you have to play it on hard, and some of those minigames are unfair. All the one versus three minigames, you're the one against the three computers. It's fun, and it's a good thing too, because, I mean, if you lose, you get sent back. To, if you lose, you have like lives. Also, that's a magic lamp, takes you directly to the star. And Boo Bell gives you a boo to steal coins or stars. And there was, I think there was a Bowser mask that turns you into Bowser and you get to steal like 20 coins or something. So yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, minigame coaster. Shh. Some of those minigames are unfair. Look away, luckily, look away is the first minigame of its world, because like each... Each, there's like five worlds. No, there's five mini games in each world, and you have lives. It's pretty easy to stock up on lives. So if you lose all of your lives and you're in the middle of a world, you're gonna have to start back from the beginning of that world. Hold on, maybe I can steal the the star from Luigi if I get a high enough number. Come on, thirty. Oh man, it might happen. Still looks good. Oh man, did I get it? 21? I don't think I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I'll give you the smallest amount. So yeah. It's a good thing, like, you lose all of your lives, you have to start from the beginning of that world. So from the first minigame all the way back to where you lost your last life. And yes, I stole the star. Just barely, too. Also with Boo, you have, ten co you have 5 coins to steal, like, usually it's always like 20 coins. And if you have 50 coins, you can steal a star. So, oh, and it's right there too, so I can I can pretty much get another star if I can make it there first. It's a good thing that Look Away is the first minigame of its world, because um, I pretty much guarantee you this, you're going to lose that minigame like 20 times before you finally win it. And it's completely luck-based, because those computers are relentless in that minigame. I usually look away from the TV and just like shake the the control stick random directions until I finally win. That's how I did it the first time. And it took me, I don't even know how many tries. I got so irritated by it. Shell shocked. Ryback's finisher. Kind of just stopped talking there. All right, you just, it's like, it's tank warfare basically. You just go around. You only have two lives. 
make everybody lose both lives. You push the B button to like make your shot go over warp pipes. I think I moved back. Whoa, whoa, Peach is trying to attack me from behind. You know what, Princess? You want some? You're out of here. Oh, well, you just stole my kill, Weege. Also, Mario hasn't been hit once? No, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, geez, at this rate, he's gonna beat me. Never mind, why he lived away? He shouldn't have lived away. I would've gonna. I would have lost this. So yeah, it's a good thing Look Away is the first minigame of its world, because I... It's impossible. That game is just the worst. I lost all of my lives before I beat it, and I probably had like 10 lives. Maybe even more. Also, we get to see this minigame again. Should I just start skipping the these minigames whenever they happen? I could, but I don't really want to. Also, my computer is done charging, but I don't really want to unplug it. It'll just tell me to start charging in like 30 minutes again, because... Apparently, according to my laptop, I need to consider replacing my battery. I did already buy a replacement battery. This is the second time I've had to do it. First battery I kept using until just recently. And it, the, com the battery only lasts like 10 minutes. And now this one lasts like 30 minutes. Some I think it's like 20 minutes now. The other one lasts like a full hour and 30 minutes, which is so much better than these. The only problem with the the newest battery is she's going to still start coins for me. Alright, problem with this is you tap the A button. Since it was the first try, I guess, doing this, I can tap the A button as fast as I can, but it'll always be between 19 to 24 coins for me. Watch. Yep, there it is, 24. And the rare 25 coins, too. So I'm pretty sure it's just completely random how many coins he steals from you. What was I saying? Oh, my turn. I can just steal those coins back, Peach. You didn't think about that, did you? Because now I have my shot at Boo. Peach, because she can steal a star. It'll probably be between 19 and... And the rare 18, too. For me, it's rare to see 18 and 25. You see, there you go, 24 coins again. It's always one of those numbers. And now I have enough coins to steal a star. And we get to see this this minigame again. Should I just skip it? I'm really considering skipping this. Gonna go for the golden shroom again. That really helped me out last time. Although the plunder chest could be useful. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say this, but if you get baby Bowser, shit, I wasn't paying attention to where the golden mushroom was at. If you get baby Bowser, you don't get any items. So try to avoid him. I was actually following the mushroom because I saw the mushroom, but I didn't see this one. But I lost track of it when it started moving at the end. I'm gonna get some more water. Where did I leave my water? I had it on top of my desk next to my. Again, this minigame. Well, you guys watch this minigame while I look for my water. I swear I left it right behind. I mean, right beside my laptop. That's why I was talking about my laptop because I was reaching for water. Oh man, I'm tired. I woke up at like 3 in the morning because I was gonna. Oh, well, there you go, miss. Doe, I missed. Promise you'll hear that later on. That's only in Mario Party 1 and 2, though. I woke up at like 3 in the morning because I was planning on playing the second session of Splatoon. Because here in California, Pacific Time, it was from 8 to 9, um, May 8. May 9th. Oh, here it is, Look Away. The worst minigame of the minigame coaster. On hard, especially. I don't even care. I'm just gonna move the, the weird mode in random. I mean, the control stick in random directions. I'm not even gonna up the screen anymore. Oh, well, I'm out. Oh, Mario, come on. I'm not even gonna move anymore. Screw it. It doesn't matter what Mario and I do anymore. I missed out on the play the first play PlayStation. The first play session of Splatoon from 8 to 9, May 8th. I was like, oh crap, I just realized that it's happening. I think it was from 7 to 8 or 8 to 9. I don't know, but I remember about it until like 9.14. And I was like, crap, I missed it. I really want to try out the game to see if I should buy it or not. Then I decided, all right, fine. I'll play it twice tomorrow. I'll play the session from three to from 4 to 5 a.m. And then the other session from 12 to 1 p.m. I woke up at 3, like 50 a.m. But I was so tired when I woke up. Oh, 
Luigi, you want a break? I was so tired when I woke up that I was like, you know what? If I play it right now, I won't have very much fun because I'll be tired the entire time.